Hi everyone, in this video we will study ICD-10CM guidelines related to human immunodeficiency virus HIV infections from chapter 1. Let's start. The first guideline is code only confirm cases. HIV can only be coded when it is confirmed and diagnosed. Remember that and Confirmation does not require documentation of positive serology or culture for HIV. The provider's diagnostic statement that the patient is HIV positive or the patient has an HIV related illness is sufficient. Next guideline. Selection and sequencing of HIV codes. When the patient is admitted for HIV related condition, we have to sequence B20 first followed by any additional HIV related condition and when the patient with HIV disease is admitted for unrelated condition, then unrelated condition must be sequenced first followed by B20 and any additional HIV related conditions. How will you sequence a patient admitted for HIV? B20 is sequenced first followed by any additional HIV related conditions and how will you sequence a patient with HIV that is admitted for unrelated condition you will sequence unrelated condition first followed by B20 next guideline asymptomatic human immunodeficiency virus so the code Z21 is used when a patient without any documentation of symptoms is listed as being HIV positive and do not use this code if the term AIDS or HIV disease is used or if the patient is treated for any HIV related illness or is described as having any condition resulting from his or her HIV positive status. So, if the patient is HIV positive or if the term AIDS or HIV is used then we have to use the code B20. Therefore. How do you code an asymptomatic HIV patient? By using the code Z21. That is when a patient without any documentation of symptoms is listed as being HIV positive. And when Z21 is not used, that is when the patient is documented as having AIDS. And if the patient is treated for HIV related illness, then we are using the code B20. Next guideline. Patients with inconclusive HIV serology. Patients with inconclusive HIV serology but no definitive diagnosis or manifestation of the illness may be assigned code R75 that is inconclusive laboratory evidence of human immunodeficiency virus HIV. Next guideline previously diagnosed HIV related illness. So patients with any known prior diagnosis of HIV should be coded B. 20 and once a patient has developed HIV related illness the patient should always be assigned the code B20 on every subsequent admission or encounter. Remember that and patients previously diagnosed with any HIV illness should never be assigned R75 or Z21. When a patient have previously diagnosed HIV illness we should use the code B20. Next guideline. HIV infection in pregnancy, childbirth and the puerperium. So, in this the codes from chapter 15 always take priority. We already know that the O codes take sequencing priority over other codes. So, how will you sequence an HIV positive patient who is also pregnant? In this case, we have to use the code O98.7 which will be sequenced first then followed by B20 and any additional HIV related codes. Next, how will you sequence an HIV asymptomatic patient who is also pregnant? In this case, O98.7 is sequenced first followed by Z21. Next guideline, encounters for testing of HIV. So, how will you code for patient who is being tested for HIV? We have to use the code Z11.4 followed by additional code for high risk behaviors. And we have to use the code Z71.7 if counselling is provided during the encounter for test. And when a patient returns to be informed of his or her HIV test results and the test result is negative, then we have to use the code Z71.7 that is for HIV counselling. Next guideline. HIV managed by antiretroviral medication. So if a patient with HIV disease 
is currently managed on antiretroviral medications then we have to code B20 because the patient is having HIV so we have to use the code B20 and we have to code Z79.899 as an additional code that is for other long term drug therapy it should be assigned to identify the long term or current use of antiretroviral medications. Next guideline, encounter for HIV prophylaxis measures. So, when a patient is seen for administration of pre-exposure prophylaxis medication for HIV, we have to assign the code Z29.81 that is encounter for HIV pre-exposure prophylaxis. So, what is prophylaxis? It is an action taken to prevent disease. Now, try to solve this question. The patient has a history of symptomatic HIV and has been treated for an HIV related illness. What ICD code is reported? So in this case, the patient is having history of symptomatic HIV and has been treated for an HIV related illness. So what code should be used? So the right answer will be option B, B20 because it is the appropriate code for patient with symptomatic HIV and treatment for an HIV related illness. So the patient is HIV positive, right? So we are using the code B20.